The New Mexico Department of Health says three cases of the plague have been confirmed this month in Santa Fe County. The plague can be transmitted to humans through bites of infected fleas, rodents, or even pets. But should we be alarmed here in Lubbock in the South Plains? KCBD News Channel 11's Caitlin Nix talked to an expert at Texas Tech who says prairie dogs happen to be the primary host for the plague. And here at KCBD, we don't have to go very far to find a prairie dog colony. Caitlin is there right now, right outside our station on Avenue A. Caitlin. That's right, Karen and Abner. We don't have to go very far to find prairie dogs all across Lubbock. And Dr. Stephen Presley with the Department of Environmental Toxicology at Texas Tech says prairie dogs are the primary reservoir for the plague. But while the plague does exist in prairie dog colonies, we shouldn't be alarmed. Plague does occur in this area. It's just that human cases don't typically occur. We see them all over the South Plains. We even have a prairie dog town in Lubbock, but what you might not have known is prairie dog colonies can carry many diseases like the plague. Black tailed prairie dog like we have is a, a great reservoir. It, it's the primary wild animal reservoir for plague uh, in this region. The plague is a zoonotic disease that is cycled in and around animals. When the plague occurs in a prairie dog colony, it kills 90 to 95 percent of the prairie dogs. And when that happens, that's when other rodents or even humans could be exposed. The fleas that are on those dead prairie dogs, will they need a blood meal. And so they're going to come back to the surface and look for the next mammal to come by. But that shouldn't cause too much of alarm. It's called an epizootic die-off because it just happens in that prairie dog colony and it's usually they're all dead and the fleas are all gone before anybody recognizes that that colony's died out. Which raises the question, what would it take for the plague to spread? A few infected fleas coming into the area on a, on a coyote or into a prairie dog colony and it, it becoming established. But there are ways to protect yourself. Try to keep your dogs out of it, or your cat. Dr. Presley says this isn't something we should be alarmed about. It's just nice to be aware. It's not like you're going to walk into a prairie dog colony and the fleas are all going to come running to you. Karen and Abner, right out here outside of the station is an active prairie dog col colony, which Dr. Presley says raises no concern. But when you start seeing spider webs across the burrows, you know that colony is dying off. And to be safe, you shouldn't go around it. Back to you. Thank you, Caitlin. They do welcome us to work every day, don't they? And they're cute. It's going